We're live. Thank you. Good evening, uh, Stone Crest. Welcome to the Parks and Recreation Committee meeting. Uh, we're waiting for the chair to come on board. I've been told that she would do her best to get here, but there was a conflict in schedule. So it looks like we might not have a quorum. So let's hold off on roll call another three minutes. If someone has an open mic, be careful. Okay, um, I'll just take the liberty to go ahead and ask for a roll call. Ms. Bailey? You're muted. Ms. Bailey, you're muted. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself and say hello to everybody. I've only met Mayor Pro Tem. I'm the new administrative assistant in the city clerk's office, so I'll be attending the meetings for you all and taking minutes. The roll call is as follows. Ms. Carol Clayton, chairperson. Councilwoman Tara Graves here. Miss Beverly Cooper. Um, she couldn't join us tonight. She's absent. Okay. Mayor Pro Tem George Turner here. Member Sharnisa Grace. Member Jamil Salem. Um, he won't be able to join us tonight either. He had a conflict in schedule. Yes, ma'am. And Ms. Ravonda Cosby. Present. And let me just say that the bylaws uh, call for a nine member parts committee. Am I reading that correctly? The bylaws call for a nine member parts committee and uh, we only have three members present. So we do not have a quorum. So we cannot have an official meeting. But what we can do is uh, just have some informal discussion and talk about perhaps um, uh, suggesting a schedule for the next meeting uh, I don't know if we can really decide on it, but we can put some suggestions out and find out what is open. So at this time, um, the agenda had called for an election of officers, public comments, and uh, update on Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee resolution, approval of the meeting schedule uh, to set the agenda for 2022 and uh, offer assignments. Uh, what we will be able to do is just have, like I said, some informal discussions about where we're headed as a uh, parts committee. And I know we have uh, two vacancies. Uh, we need to work on getting those two vacancies filled. I have uh, some applications and I will take 
part of the responsibility for that, that we have to vet them and get them before city council and get a yay vote to get those other two vacancies filled such that we won't run into uh, a quorum issue uh, quite as often. We did get one public comment and I'm just taking the liberty to go ahead and uh, share it now. And we will share it at the next uh, meeting for which we do have a quorum and we could possibly share it at the uh, city council meeting. So uh, Ms. Bailey, if you could share that public comment, I think it's quite uh, appropriate. Yes, sir. The public comment comes from Ms. Malika Wells and it is as follows. Dear Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee, thank you for your willingness to serve our community in this capacity. As a resident and mother of four children, ages 16 to six, your contributions to the growth and development of our parks and recreation system in Stonecrest is invaluable. I'm writing to ask that you please prioritize getting our children and families in-person programming in the city, especially at Browns Mill Recreation Center and the Southeast Athletic Complex. Stonecrest families need affordable, safe, and accessible options for the recreation in the city. Children need robust summer programs where they can explore athletics, physical fitness, nature, arts, science, language and culture. Older students also need opportunities to gain valuable leadership skills through summer staffing jobs. Children in our community need opportunities to learn how to swim, garden, kayak, canoe, climb trees, learn archery, play sports, paint, sing, sculpt, act, craft, and make new friends. As the state and the cities throughout it continue to grow up as a city, we need to provide in-person programming for our community as well. I apologize for not being able to attend this virtual meeting. However, I had a conflict. Many thanks, Malika Wells, kind regards. Any other? Any other public comments you know of? No, sir. Okay, great, thank you very much. Uh, but do um, hold that for the next official meeting. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll consider it for a council public uh, comment once I talk to the uh, author of that public comment. Yes, okay. sir. Uh, Councilwoman uh, Graves. Yes, sir. Like I said, it's kind of an informal discussion. So uh, if we could talk about where we're headed with uh, parks and recreation a little bit. I know you are new with a lot of our uh, committees and what's going on in Stonecrest. And uh, uh, one thing about the parks committee, uh, you have the resolution itself. And uh, we wanted to talk about the resolution uh, some at this meeting. So there are things you want to know, uh, share with us about where you see us headed with this uh, parks committee. Um, well, I did talk to uh, Ms. Porter. So one of my goals is to go tour the eight parks that we have in Stonecrest just to see their current, you know, just to see where they are currently and to put my eyes on it. But I am looking forward to being on a committee. And of course, um, I agree with Ms. Wells, since this is an informal meeting, that um, I look forward to building it for the teenagers because mental health is real. We need to, you know, have a place for our kids to go in Stonecrest that's safe and for them to grow. Um, and I know everything's been set, shut down due to the virtual um, and the pandemic, but I'm looking forward to um, bringing things to the park that we can, that can benefit the city. And so, of course, I'm excited. So my first thing, the first thing I'm going to do is actually do the tour. So I'm going to have a tour schedule, maybe um, speak to Ms. Porter to walk. So if anybody here wants to join me, hey, be more than happy to reach out and we can tour together. Sounds good. And uh, again, the uh, resolution itself should capture the basic purpose of the Parks Committee. And it's, 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 it's kind of a watchdog. Uh, we don't tell the Parks Department how to run their affairs. 
um, that's going to be up to the city manager and city council uh, right. to offer uh, that type of guidance. But we can provide an avenue for the community to bring their concerns and their questions. And then right. we will route, we'll, we'll be a conduit, brother, to city council as to some concerns that they might have. Some things might have a quick and easy answer. And some things we might need to rework from the beginning. Uh, some things we may never even have thought of. So that's what this committee will provide is an opportunity for uh, the citizens to have some input without, shall I say, directing the parks. Because if you get 60,000 uh, directors, <laughs> we're going 60,000 directions. But um, right. this is to be that conduit for input that we can uh, channel to city council, well, we can channel to the parks department by way of city council. Right. Yeah. yeah. So my first thing is to um, do the tour. So like I said, if anybody want to join me just to kind of see this, you know, where is that currently, um, just reach out and we can maybe do the tour together. Okay. And uh, we need to take a look at what was proposed in the past and uh, what has happened and what has not happened and try to get some answers because um, we've been at this for a little while now. When I say a little while, really, literally it is only, uh, you know, four or five years, uh, <laughs> but still that we need to show some signs of progress. And if you have not, then you need to explain why not. And if you have, then let's celebrate it. So those are some things that we can take a look at. And one of the biggest parks in the city uh, does not belong to the city and that's Arabia Mountain. And uh, Ms. Rabonda Cosby uh, is on the line with us and she can kind of just chime in as to where, uh, where, that, where we stand with Arabia Mountain, that relationship. Well, thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, always good to give an update. Arabia Mountain has continued to stay open and be a shared 2,500-acre um, plus uh, preserve. The trails are wide open. Programming has resumed. Um, we just finished up Monadnock Madness, an event that we host every March, which is a hiking promotion and saw over 100 and 200 new visitors come into the park. So Arabia Mountain is still open um, for Stonecrest residents to come in and out of, uh, the, to include all of the trailheads as well, the restrooms. Um, I don't think that you can access the nature center, but you can go in um, um, and take, take advantage of all the programs and you can access those programs through our website as well at arabiaalliance.org. Um, one of the also things worth mentioning was the last time that we gathered, we looked specifically at some things at Salem just to encourage residents that there were some things put forth. So hopefully we can pick up um, where we left off and maybe see some things that we could work with staff to prioritize and have our city manager support and see if there can be some successes at Salem, you know, this year or at least in the planning season. So that's probably the update from Arabia Alliance. Great. Thank you very much. And um, I see Ms. Clayton has joined us and I know she says she might be in and out. Uh, Ms. Clayton, if you got the, the end minute, uh, we'll take a comment from you. Uh, otherwise, I know you're trying to shuffle two meetings at one time. Uh, thumbs up <laughs> is all you have. Okay, we'll take a thumbs up. And we appreciate you so much for uh, doing double duties. But we understand. I know Thursday evenings is a very uh, difficult time for a lot of us. In fact, I had to push a meeting back myself in order to make this one. So uh, we may well discuss choosing a better date, a date that fits more of us. Uh, then on a Thursday evening. Uh, but a lot of that is driven by availability of uh, Zoom uh, time mm -hmm. and the support from the uh, staff. I'm not sure as to how that will work once we go back in person to meeting. Uh, we still need support from staff, but we still could run some concurrent meetings, I do believe. So um, with that, um, I'm going to turn back to Councilwoman uh, Graves. And we're going to talk about perhaps some of our um, uh, proposed meeting dates uh, to make up this meeting. I believe uh, Sonia Eisenman is, is on the line. You have the, uh, the master calendar? 
Mayor Pro Tem, I, I have that calendar available. Oh, good. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I believe two weeks from now is what we're going to have to look at is what you asked for in terms of setting a meeting. Or can we do right. it in two weeks? Right now, we have y'all at the first Thursday of every month. Well, so Mayor Porte, can you hear me? Yes, Ms. Clayton. Hey, how are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm trying to do two meetings at one time, so I had to kind of slide out. But um, first of all, I want to say thank you for every, um, everybody coming in. And I couldn't say a whole bunch of stuff right then and there. But, um, and I got to run back in there. But Mayor um, Pro Tem, I think last time we had our meetings, I want to say for some strange reason, they were on Tuesdays. Is Tuesday a better day for us versus a Thursday? Is that good for you? Tuesday, Tuesday is probably going to work better than, than on a Thursday, but I don't okay. know what everybody else's schedule well, is. We don't have any, we don't have a quorum, so we really can't decide, but we can take okay. suggestions. But I'm, for me, okay. as a suggestion, I would like to see if we could do it on Tuesday. Okay, one suggestion for Tuesday. I can yes. do Tuesday, so that's two suggestions for Tuesday. Yeah, I'm okay. open for Tuesdays also. Okay, okay. Uh, if, if one more person, we can make it official. But I mean, if we get uh, five people, we only have four. If we get five on the line, we can make it official. But uh, Councilwoman Graves, what do you think? I'm okay with Tuesday as well. Okay, okay. So we may well look at changing the date, but it's going to have to be a, a matter of availability on the calendar for the okay. city. Okay. So uh, we'll work with the city to make sure it fits the calendar and possibly move this meeting to a Tuesday. Meanwhile, we need to make up this meeting. We're not going to wait a month. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's what I would ask him, Ms. Bailey. How soon can we reschedule? Are we uh, restricted to two weeks uh, advance notice, or can we do it next week if we want to? I'm looking at the calendar now, sir. Give me one second. I'm sorry. But Mayor Pro Tem, you can schedule it for next week if you like, if there's anything available. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. We have um, Tuesday, April 12th open. Tuesday, April 12th is open. Okay. Perfect. Then um, we're going to have to uh, circulate it and get a majority uh, from the members. We can't vote on it here, but uh, if you would pencil us in, <laughs> yes, sir, and we will poll the members and see if we can get a concurrence to make it six or seven. Um, I think we did six o'clock last time. Six is fine with me. Any problem with six from the four of us here? Okay, hearing no objection, so we will also poll the rest of the committee on the time and the date to do a makeup meeting for this one on Tuesday the 12th. Okay. okay. And then the other thing is, I think at the beginning of this particular meeting, um, there was a problem with my email for some strange reason. It's bouncing back um, to y'all. So that was the only reason why I did not know about the meeting until probably two or three hours ago that the meeting was going to be today. Wow. So if y'all have a problem with my email, um, just, just let me know if it's if it's continuing to bounce back. I don't know why. Okay. That's why it's going to be so important for us to make the meeting at a regular time and uh, people will know what to expect well in advance. Uh, right. That's the only agenda was the adoption of a calendar. So we need to take another look at that calendar uh, for the rest of the year. Okay. And uh, we'll do that and circulate it as well. Okay. And on... Uh, I'll take another look at the bylaws. In some cases, on some committees, we appoint officers, and in some cases, we elect officers. So that will be on the next agenda as well. And I believe for this one, it's an election, nomination and elections. But we will double check and make sure that that applies to the parts committee. Okay. Um, I've just kind of taken the lead on this as Mayor Pro Tem, but uh, Ms. Clayton is really your meeting. You are the 
last uh, chair, and you remain chair until another one is elected, unless you've got to get back to your other meeting. I'm getting ready. I need to come out of here, but y'all can continue to talk, and I, I'm listening to you. It's just, if you need to ask a question, I'll either thumb up or thumb down. <laughs> okay, and our vice chair uh, was replaced, so we didn't have a uh, president uh, available, nor the uh, vice. That's why I stepped in. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's what we do. Okay. Any other comments uh, or questions? And uh, before we officially just disperse. Okay. Mayor Pro uh, Tip, I did, I did have a question. I know the last time we ended, we had gotten an update from the Parks Department, at least on just what to expect for the season. Is there any update for summer uh, programs or what staff will be doing at Brownsville? Um, there was some that has been sent out, but I would uh, like for the committee to call for that report okay. and, uh, and, 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 and take it that way. And if you want to put that on the next agenda, although we had one set that we we're going to carry forward, we're still going to add to the agenda. And I could give them a heads up to attend the next meeting and give us yeah. that update. Yeah, just, just an update, if, there, if particularly if there was anything that we could help with or be made aware of. That is a suggestion. And we'll take it as a suggestion. Since Thank you, sir. This is not an official meeting. OK. Any other suggestions or comments? Okay, then uh, folks on this Thursday uh, evening, uh, we have a lot of other meetings. I might be able to catch part of my other meeting. So uh, we thank you for your time and attendance and uh, without any formal to do, uh, we will just disband and you can uh, cancel the broadcast and thank the public for tuning in. And uh, we will post when our makeup meeting is going to occur. And at that meeting, we will solidify our calendar for the rest of the year and do our best to stick to it. And uh, if we can get a full um, quorum of nine members, then we can uh, have a business. And there's a lot of business to be handled in the parks uh, area. So again, thank you and good night. Good evening.